This next lecture is all about cost centers. Cost centers are used to identify and break down job costs. Next week, our lecture is about creating a budgeted hourly rate. It's called a BHR. And you need to be able to identify cost centers before you can identify a budgeted hourly rate. Our objectives for today are to define what a cost center is. I would like to point out that your homework this week asks you to define cost center. You should not copy it word for word. I want you to translate it into your own words. Tell me that you understand it. Um, pretend that you're explaining it to someone who doesn't have any idea what we're talking about in the simplest terms possible. We'll then work on identifying printing company cost centers. Um, for this, some of you may feel uncomfortable or it might seem foreign to you because you don't work in the printing industry. Um, but what you should take out of it is that you can apply it to any industry. It doesn't matter if it's printing or, or a tech company or a plumbing company, whatever it is, they're all going to have costs that you have to pay for. We'll then calculate if a company is profitable or if they lose money based on known debits and credits. And then last but not least, we'll work on identifying cost centers in our very own lives. That's your quiz for this section, so make sure that you pay close attention to that. So what is a cost center? A cost center is a grouped area of interest within an organization that costs the company money. So on the right-hand side here, I have some pictures. I have a secretary on the top. Um, she costs the company money. A janitor, uh, maybe a salesperson at the bottom. Um, but it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a printing press. It could be um, all the tools that a plumber uses at his business. Anything that, that a company has to pay for, it has to be identified in a cost center so they can budget for it. Some cost centers cost the company money and are never able to recoup their own costs, like secretaries, janitors, managers, etc. Um, everything these employees do with, will cost the company money. They're not bringing in any revenue. But other cost centers, like salesmen, are responsible for generating enough revenue to keep the company profitable. So when we talk about a salesman, if he brings in $10 million worth of printing in a year, he doesn't get to keep $10 million. He only gets 10%. That other 90% goes to cover the cost for the secretary, the cost for the janitor, the cost for the computers and the equipment, the printing press, um, for the mortgage on the building that they have to pay every month. Um, none of those things generate any money. So when a salesman generates money, it has to cover everything else that the company has to pay for. 